All right, this is just going to be um, a quick review on the Poke 4. It's a 3.25 inch blade um, stiletto that's spring assisted with a liner lock. Um, you can find these on menseffects.com for, I think it's 12 to $14. And I know after hearing that, you may be thinking, you know, that's, that's bullshit. This knife is going to break. Um, I've had this knife for six months. Um, I carry it with me whenever I'm not in school. And... And it's not like, you know, to whip out for a fight or something like that. It's um, more utility or that thing. Um, and just to end some comments now, I would never use a knife in a fight. The only practical use I can think of is a knuckle load, meaning you just use it in your knuckles like that. Um, but yeah, so anyway, onto the knife. It's got these, I'm assuming they're just plastic or maybe some plastic type grips just this ugly blue this is the only color it comes in um, but you know they're they're nice and glossy they're just you know average grips um, I bet you could replace them I'm not sure though um, the rest of the knife is steel um, it's it's a nice knife it's definitely worth more than the price um, both in looks and use. Um, actually, the friend who introduced me to mensefx.com, he's bought four or five knives from them, and he's actually had the blade snap, um, you know, from maybe here up, that all snapped off. Um, so now to actually show the function, um, a quick thing: it does have the um, the pocket bar, no, that's not it, but I can't fucking remember, um, but it's got this small depression, and your finger fits in there very nicely, so to open this knife, you simply put your finger here, hold the knife fairly tight, and, and just push down, um, I'm in California, this is legal, um, it's under three and a half inches, and I've heard four some places, but Again, I don't want to, um, you know, get searched by a copper and have a knife that's a half an inch over. And frankly, um, that's a big blade. Uh, they made this thin enough so you could sharpen it if you were going to stab somebody. Um, you know, again, I don't really suggest that, but whatever. Um, it has Milano nicely put on the blade just for whatever reason. Um, the blade comes out nicely and, you know, with a good amount of force. Uh, and flicking it, it comes out a lot more, a lot faster. So, um, comparable to a switchblade, and also considering that this is the, uh, classic quintessential switchblade design, um, just the stiletto, and this is a fairly, um, I guess, normal looking one. You know, kind of the classic design where it flares out at the end of the grip, um, and with these little things. So the uh, the liner lock, it works beautifully. I can operate it with my pinky. Um, but yeah, it's just it's a pleasure to use. Um, you can close the knife one-handed which is no problem again um, and the same friend who's bought knives that have broken off of men's effects for around ten dollars um, the liner lock will move over too far so instead of being here to there it'll go all the way to the other side and get stuck and then you have to either get a tool or like your fingernail and just push it until it'll snap back um, Another problem I've seen is the blades will wobble. They will go back to here, even. This does not move at all. I've had it for six months, and this blade is not moving. Um, I've flicked it out probably more times than I should have, just you know, because because it's a cool little knife and it's just fun to uh, flick out. But um, anyway, this comes sharpened, very very sharp. Um, I actually did do the paper test. I don't believe it can do it anymore, but you get a piece of paper and you just start cutting like this. 
Yeah. So, um, yeah, it's not doing it, but, you know, on a fairly sharp knife, you can cut a paper, or a piece of paper like that. So, um, there's this knife. I highly, highly recommend it. This is just, I'm astounded. I mean, I've, I have a fairly nice collection of knives, not just, you know, nasty Chinatown knives that are like 10 bucks that have a small coating of aluminum on the blade and then it's just cardboard on the inside or something. Um, and yeah, it's just beautiful, beautiful knife. Um, this compares to $50 knives. It's great. I recommend it. It's like $15 and it's free shipping. It got here in a week, so I'm very happy. Um, so yeah, definitely buy this.